everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, that was a bad intro. I don't start my videos like that. <clears throat> you guys want to see something cool? Besides that. I don't even have to look. I'm so good at this. Ready? It ain't done yet. That's some magic right there. Actually, do I kind of like how it looks? And let me let me sit and see how it looks, and if I don't like it, then I'll turn it off. Oh my gosh, it kind of looks good. Wait a minute, wait. But should, would it look better at just one color? Should I just do, what color? I guess I should have tested this beforehand. I didn't even think about it though. What do you think about the green? We're kind of on a green vibe today. Um, maybe the green vibe isn't the most. <laughs> okay, wait, I kind of like that. Okay, we're gonna do that. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla, and if you're not new, then hello. How you doing? <laughs> okay, flirting with you, what? Hi everyone, since you guys last saw me, I changed my room around a lot. I kind of had a little a bit of a mental breakdown, and I was like, I need a change. And I, so I switched my home room around. So that's why it looks like this. As you guys could probably tell from the title of this video, it's gonna be something a little bit abnormal to what I've uploaded, honestly, in quite a long time. I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial today, and it does seem very tailored to a certain group, but it doesn't have to be. This is totally something that you guys can try whether you have freckles or not. But for me, this is pretty much my everyday makeup routine, and I kind of wanted to share it with you guys, but I kind of wanted the title to be for people. Because I, I kind of came up with this routine by watching a couple other videos after I looked up everyday makeup for people with freckles. Because for the longest time, I would always put on a lot of makeup and something just didn't ever feel right about it. I didn't feel as confident as... I should have been feeling, I guess. I always felt like there was something off with my makeup and I didn't know whether it was too much or whether I just wasn't applying it properly. Probably a combination of both. But since I've started with this makeup routine that I'm gonna be showing you guys, I have loved how my makeup looks because for me, I don't, I don't like to put on too much makeup. There are occasions where, you know, I really like to get done up and everything like that. So this is just something that I've learned. It could be right, it could be wrong. It's up to you, you guys can try it, and then if you like it, let me know. If you guys have freckles and you try this makeup look, let me know. I don't really know how to get started with this, so let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I do is I apply moisturizer pretty much before I do any sort of makeup to my face. I also sometimes put on rose water. This is just the Trader Joe's one. But I saw on TikTok, Skincare by Hiram, I think he said that rose water is not too great for you. But I kind of like it. I don't know. I kind of like the dewy look it applies. So I, pr I usually try to do a little bit before and then I also do... A little bit after like one spray or two sprays something like that nothing crazy and this is kind of what I use as a setting spray even though it probably doesn't even set it like I said I'm using the Trader Joe's rose water facial toner and then after that has dried I go in with my CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion I don't know if you guys can tell that I like to watch skincare by Hiram but I do <laughs> and he put me on this I used to use this which is the elf daily hydration moisturizer and I honestly liked it a lot but I think when when I bought this honestly I was really surprised with the consistency of it because it is more watery okay ow then this is this is a little bit of a thicker moisturizer at least in my opinion so like I said I'm going <laughs> I'm not good at this whole beauty guru thing. So like I said, I'm gonna take the CeraVe Daily Hy Moisturizing. So like I said, I'm gonna take the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion and I'm just gonna take, let me try to show you guys. I don't use that much because this stuff honestly goes, a little goes a long way, at least for me. So I use that much, which is probably about a dime size, I'd say. So I just kind of put this all over my face and on my neck and then I just rub it in. I know you're supposed to go like this. Sometimes I forget that you're not supposed to like go down with it. And then I realize halfway through. So that's pretty much what's happening. And then after that is done, I go in with the radial soft focus glow drops. It makes my face look really dewy. And like I said, I really, really love the dewy look. I'm actually almost out of this. I really need to get a new one. You can order it on Amazon, I think for 20 bucks. So I have a little bit on my finger and 
Usually I would put a little bit more and I would actually put the dropper on my face, but it's not working. <laughs> because it's pretty much empty. So this is just acting like a primer for my skin to get it ready for the little bit of foundation that I'm gonna use. So yeah, for me, I don't know if you guys can see it, I like the kind of dewy, shiny look that it leaves on my face. That's just kind of my personal makeup preference. Then the next step, I actually just had to get a new one yesterday because I ran out of mine and it was a little too light for me. I go in with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, which is a tinted hydrating gel cream, and it has SPF 30, which is really, really good because you always wanna make sure you got that SPF going on. So like I said, I used to use a lighter color. I actually used to use this one, this one, see you can kind of see the difference there this one's really old but this is the color vanilla o2 which is really good for my skin it's neutral if you guys have neutral skin this is a really good color for you and it lasted me a long time but I also don't wear makeup every day so that could be why and then this color that I use is bamboo 5.5 so I went up a little bit and this one I think is a more warm undertone but for some reason when I was in Ulta yesterday this one seemed to fit my skin tone better than any of the higher skin color neutral tones did wow that sounded really official actually and then I put it on my beauty blender I get it wet this is just like an elf one because I don't like to spend 20 bucks I'm I'm really cheap with a lot of my makeup except for like this this is a little bit expensive I think this is about $33 but with other stuff, I just like to get the one that's cheapest and works the best. I'm a huge sucker for dupes, uh, and I think you guys will see a lot, a few of those in this video. You won't see too many, but you guys will see a couple in this video. So I just went and got my beauty blender all wet and ready for the foundation. So basically, I just take a little bit of this foundation and I put it on my finger. Not too much, because you can always build, this is a super light, coverage one so you can always build it up if you need to but I don't use that much I kind of just use it to make sure that my skin tone is even and if I look down here it's because this is where my mirror is now it's kind of resting on my knees <laughs> so after I put a couple dots on my face I just go in with my beauty blender and kind of pat it into my skin spread it around make sure that my skin tone is even that there's no parts of my skin lighter or darker than the rest after I put on this foundation I don't even know if I can call it foundation but I don't want to keep calling it like BB cream or like tinted moisturizer even though it's pretty much what it is so after your foundation is to your liking the next step is concealer so the concealer I use is the Tarte Shape Tape in light beige this was my holy grail for such a long time and it honestly still is i don't well i can't even say it's my holy grail anymore because i don't really use much makeup as much as i used to so i don't know if there's like better ones for my skin or what but i just kind of make a little bit of like a tiny little triangle and then put it on my eyelids as well just to even out my skin tone and I do like it when it's lighter than the rest of my skin because it tends to highlight my under eyes which have pretty bad bags on them and my eyelids are usually darker than the rest of my skin as well. So then I just take my beauty blender as you guys are seeing and I just kind of pat it into my skin, blend it with the rest of my foundation. After it's all rubbed into your liking, you can move on to the next step which for me is bronzer slash powder which I know is crazy but especially during the summer months I really really like to make sure that my face looks warmed up as if I have been in the Sun so I tend to go in with the Hulu benefit with the Hula bronzer Hulu Hulu so I tend to go in with the Hula benefit bronzer which I know is like a really really old one but again I'm not that involved in the makeup community community so if there are things that you guys can teach me I'm always willing to learn or products that you think I should try if I like ones like this to just to keep up I take my little elf brush like I said I don't like to spend a lot of money and elf brushes work amazingly I've learned so I just take this and I do start with bronzing my cheeks so I'll kind of focus it in one area like you guys are seeing and then buff it out and I kind of like to think of this as like a no makeup makeup look kind of thing because at the end I feel like if you would look at me you'd be like oh is she wearing makeup and I am girl what I like about this brush is that it's really really good for blending it's called the ultimate blending brush by the way I probably should have said that now I like to 
take some more bronzer and kind of just put it all over my face. So I'll start at my chin, just to kind of contour that a little bit. My jawline, I guess I should say. So to contour my jawline a little bit and then bring it up to my chin and my lower cheek. And then I take a little bit more and I just kind of dip into it very lightly and then act as if it is a setting powder, which for me, that's kind of what it's used for. And if you guys are annoyed by this, just wait till we get to the next step. <laughs> Probably also should have definitely pulled my hair back for this. And then lastly, I just dip it in again and then go down my neck a little. It's also a good way to save money on spray tanning and to save your skin from UV rays. So after I have set and contoured my face, I usually go to my eyes where I use this bad boy. <laughs> now I'm going in with another e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. blending brush. It's just a normal flat, flatter uh, eyeshadow brush. And so I would just take a little bit and then pat off the excess and then go into my crease and just kind of place the product in there, kind of keep patting it and then start to work it towards the inner part of my eyelid. And then sometimes you can try to wing it as well, which I try to do because I don't like it when it's too circular. I do like it to be a little pointed. So what I find this does is it works really, really well with the contour and the rest of my face and kind of just keeps upholding that bronze look. Oh, and I also didn't say this, I don't think in the intro, so a lot of you may be confused why in some of the clips in the intro I have lashes on and in some of the other clips I don't. It's because I wanna show you guys this look and how you can kind of dress it up by wearing eyelashes or dress it down by not wearing it, make it more natural without make it less natural with. I also don't know why or if this is just a me thing, but I feel like this eyelid has so, like looks so much bigger than this one does. I think this one folds a little bit more. I remember watching a video of Michelle Phan when I was like 12 and she was talking about how you can train your eyelids to be the same shape and size. And I really um, am honestly thinking about doing that because I hate sometimes how difficult one eye is versus the other. And this one is always my problem eye. Always, 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 always. So just to make sure that everything is blended with my eyes, I usually go in with this, with another e.l.f. brush. It is the Fluffy Eye Blender Brush. And I just use it to make sure that there's no spots that are darker than the rest. And it kind of just helps it look less harsh and a little more, like I said, which is the kind of the whole point of this look, makes it look more natural. All right guys, so this happens a lot when I do my makeup because like I said, I don't do it very often. So my routine can kind of go all over the place. I forgot that I usually do my eyebrows before I touch my eyelids, not with the concealer, but with eyeshadow. Luckily, I've only done the crease and it's not gonna be that hard to go back and it's not like I'm doing a full eye look, but I'm very glad that I caught myself. So continuing now that the eyeshadow is kind of blended in on both sides, this side could probably use a little bit more work, but I will do that in a second. For my eyebrows, I usually use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in soft brown because my hair is a little bit darker than my actual eyelid, eyebrows. And I used to use the medium brown and it was just a little too dark for my skin, so. And I usually start with this one because it's the problem one and I usually have to go back a lot and do more with it. I usually just go in and fill in the sparse spots, maybe try to angle them a little bit, get a little bit of a point up here. And then after I finish the end and kind of bring it to a point, I go back in and draw a little bit of a line under here and then do very, very light flicks so I can kind of get the fade look that I really, really like my eyebrows to have. And then eventually I will start going in and blending with the spoolie on the other side. Spoolie. And I honestly am very happy with how this eyebrow is turning out right now. Like I said, this is my problem eye, so sometimes it really messes with me and refuses to look good, but it's not that bad right now. So now it's time for this eyebrow. So now that my eyebrows are filled into my liking, I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And I try to feather them as much as I can, but sometimes it doesn't work out, especially with this freaking eyebrow. You guys have no idea how frustrated I get with this eye. I guess you're experiencing a little bit of it or seeing how done with this freaking eyebrow I am. And I, in general, honestly, just cut this out and replace it with this one, a replica. But you always have to remember, they're sisters, not twins. It's very difficult for me to get them to look the same, 
So that's what I tell myself to get through. But yes, and then when I get them to a shape and a coloring that I like, I usually move on to my eyelids. But since we already did the crease, we are going to move on to the lids themselves. So for my actual eyelids, I tend to use this brush, which came with my subculture palette, which I do use on occasion, just not all the time. And I also do have the James Charles, James Charles X Morphe palette, but I left that in Guatemala when I went to go visit. So it's not with me, but I will be doing videos with it very soon. One of which involves these lights, hopefully. <laughs> I take this little highlighter palette, it's kind of a highlighter slash eyeshadow palette, and I usually take a combination of this pink shade right here and this lighter white one, and I put that over my eyelids. And then I blend it together. And after my eyelids look pretty shimmery, I go back in with the blending brush and I kind of just blend it all together to make it not as harsh. So now that the eyeshadow and the eyebrows are all done, there's only one step left for the eyes. And the last thing I do for my eyelids is I just take the whiter color that I just used for my lids mixed with the pink and, um, but I just take this white color by itself and then I will put it on my brow bone just to kind of highlight it a little bit. Now that the eyelids are done and the eyebrows are done, there's only one step left, the eyelashes. I take the L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara because I am a sucker for long eyelashes, which is why a lot of the time I do tend to wear fake eyelashes because mine just don't do the trick as much as I wish they would. So I take the first side and I just kind of coat my lashes with it so that they look, re they look really white and it's supposed to extend them. And honestly, I've noticed a huge difference with this. Again, problem eye. This eye, perfect lashes. This eye, just horrible, horrible. After I've applied it to my top and a little bit to my bottom lashes, I go to the other side, which is just normal mascara, and I apply it like normal. Sometimes I actually do need to kind of do two coats to the side to make it look as dark and lengthy as this one does. And then sometimes if this one gets a little too dark, I'll just do a couple more swipes on this one. But this side is actually kind of cooperating today, which is really, really nice. Maybe one day when I do a different tutorial, you guys will see how it actually treats me. But today it's being very kind, so thank you. So after that is done, we really only have two more steps if you exclude the fake eyelashes, which I will do at the end after I show you guys how it looks with no fake eyelashes. I am a huge blush person, but Again, sometimes I just think the simpler roots are better. And I have this e.l.f. day and night lipstick that I bought. And on this side, it's a lighter pink color. And on this side, it is a darker mauve reddish purple color. And I take the darker mauve purple reddish color and I will do a couple dots. I'll do a single tiny, tiny dot on my nose and then a couple on my cheeks and blend it out. And it creates the most beautiful blush, rosy cheeks color and I really, really like it a lot. So like I said, I'll just take a couple dots, bring it up the cheek a little, and then a tiny little beep on my nose. And then I just take my finger and kind of just blend it out. So I just get the little e-girl look going on with my nose here, and then blend this side. I like to blend it into my nose a little bit so that it follows the whole path. <laughs> and it's not too dark or too much blush to the point where it covers up my freckles, but it just kind of leaves a nice rosy color. And this side's a little bit darker, so I might have to just go in with a tissue and wipe off a little bit of it. But that's okay. It can't be perfect every time. And finally, when you have your cheeks to your liking, the final step is highlighter. So again, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna dab it on my cheeks a little bit. Again, I'm using the pink color for my cheeks. And then I also put a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And then for some finishing touches, you can go in with a little bit of chapstick I don't use lipstick too much because my lips are already pretty much tinted naturally. So this does the job, makes them look pretty glossy. And then the final thing you can do is take some more rose water if you'd like, just to give you a full dewy look. And give yourself two or three spritzes. And now you have your finished look. So now you can completely stop here if you like how this looks, but sometimes you just need a little bit more. You just need to be a little bit more glam. So. I use my fake eyelashes. So for my fake eyelashes, I use the Ardell Naturals in 135. And to apply them, I use the Duo Lash Glue. This one's pretty old and pretty gross. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so my camera SD card got full. So I already did this eye because I already put the glue on before I saw that it got full. So uh, I just had to work with it. So this is how it looks on this eye. 
And then I'm just gonna kind of show you guys how I do the other, even though I'm not that great at it, to be honest. I tend to mess up a lot, but I'm learning because with practice makes perfect. So all I do is take this eyelash, I hold it in between my fingers, I take my eyelash glue and I put a bit on the lash line and then I wait for it to get tacky and then I just put it on my eyelashes. Try to get it as close to your lash line as possible. And then you can keep messing with it until it looks to your liking. You can flick it up, you can try to push it down a little bit so that they're more straight out or lift them up. And voila, this is how the makeup look looks with fake eyelashes. So it glams it up for sure, but not too much in my opinion. Still looks pretty natural. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you got and learned something from it. If you didn't, I just hope you enjoyed watching. I really appreciate your guys' support recently. It means the world to me to be welcomed back so lovingly to YouTube. If you guys want more videos like this, be sure to let me know, because they're kind of fun to make, honestly. And uh, if you do this makeup look, then tweet me pictures. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!